All right, guys, welcome to part two of the video. Today, we're gonna to install the KYX Nerf bars into the Dodge Ram 1500. Check out the description of the video for more info on these Nerf bars. Yeah. It unhooked. Uh-oh. This is pretty neat. Should be like... <laughs> throw it at the light again and see what happens. <laughs> look pretty clean we notice one of these has an angle and the one in the back does not it's flat so i'm assuming this is the front and that's the back but we're gonna find out so pretty cool tells so you the quantity the bracket type that you're getting nice brand and it gives you some instructions too yeah these are numbered. Two, four. Depending on what vehicle you have, some of the hardware you use, some of them you won't. So? Mm -hmm. That one's different. One by itself. Yeah, I don't think about it. That's it. So this one had running boards before so it has these already on here and it has a space on top okay so we need the one that's in the back facing the the um, rear of the vehicle and we're gonna loop it in with the top one so we got to remove these existing ones so what you do So then I had to kind of use fingers to bring it out. That'll go through, won't it? Won't it go through? Let me get this out of the way. Oh my god, is this stuck? That's what happened to me, but I was able to get my finger in there to take it out. Really? Oh yeah. There's nothing, and actually if it stays there, it's not like, no biggie. It's no biggie, that <laughs> noise does that I drive you insane. <laughs> yeah, clack, 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 clack. All right guys, so here is also gonna be the one, this is now in the driver's side. That's the front left driver wheel. So on the driver's side, and it's, gonna be the one in the back don't worry if you have one over here on this side we don't worry about that this one needs to come off okay but so we learned a different way to take it off so besides pushing it in and then trying to find it in the back you actually just hit this thing <laughs> make sure it's in enough so it has it actually goes onto all the thread and just hit it left and right left and right and it'll come out so you just hit it Okay, so there's a bolt that goes to support with 
two washers. And this is kind of easy where it goes. But don't tighten these up yet. Because then you got to put the actual bracket on this side of it. Yep, so I guess the, the ones was more quantity. I hate saying it that way, but you, you actually use them for your sidewall. Um, okay. For the one that and overhangs the bottom. the bottom, which you use the bigger washer, bigger lug washer, which you have a smaller quantity of too that because it doesn't have like two of Yeah, so you need, so total there's 12 of these, but there's only six of these. Correct. Well said. Okay, so you notice how everything's loose still, nothing's tightened up, everything's just in place. But it bracket to the right towards the front of the vehicle on both sides. So we're just gonna go in there and line it up and start bolting things down. Okay, so you have to really hold it while it's loose and angle. catch this but you see yeah. how I gotta have that yeah. screw out it has to I have be to, just exactly where it needs to be for it to go in nice so one thing one thing we didn't we didn't do but we're gonna come back and do put a is put the washer and lock washer yeah. So once we tighten these up, tighten up these, yep. we'll be good to go. Okay, so we're not using some of these because we already have. Wait, where, why are we not using some of these? So, so oh, yeah. we're, so we're not using right. six of these. Six of these we're not using because of their factory bolts, right? Correct. So some of these here, this, do you have washers that are larger than the others? And the, the locking washer also is the same thing. It's larger, see? So make sure the larger ones are for this part of the bracket. And all the smaller ones like these are for these here. All the way around. Okay, so see? Okay, and then the other thing is the, the, the bolt itself. You have some bolts that are longer than others. All these longer bolts go on this, on this, on the double sun. You can tell because there's a whole bunch of these. Uh, in the smaller ones, there's only six of them, so that means it goes over here. Okay, all the brackets are on tight. Now, you want this far back as possible? Right? Yeah. Can turn them up a little bit? show what happened here all right so right here this one in perfect this one you see how the lock washer popped out of them so we're gonna take this one out and put a new washer on here it was in there too hard maybe too fast so we're doing that part Side steps on. Nice looking lights, headlights looking good. All right, Victor, so we satisfied? It's good? I love it, man. Awesome. It's awesome. Pretty. So now tell me tell me about your truck. What kind of, uh, tell me the wheels. You have a Moto Metal, what? Moto Metal. Um, 18. 
They are, I, I kind of like by the 12s. small rim. So yeah, they're, they're actually 17 inch rims. 17s? Oh shit. Yeah, okay. they got 17s. Yeah, they're 17, 17, 17. <laughs> <laughs> you remember like next Friday? They're, oh, okay. They're 20s, they're 20s. <laughs> The tires are 35s by 12s. 35 by 12. Extra wide. Yep. Um, got a, uh, what I like about them, they got a 12 inch offset. Yeah, they're wide, so they do stick out pretty well. Yeah. Just enough to make muffler, it. Muffler is a Flowmaster Exhaust Dual. Flowmaster Exhaust Dual. Got a 7 inch max. On the engine. I forgot who was the camshaft that we did. There's a couple okay. videos you on it. You put a camshaft on it. It has a K&N in air intake. K&N in intake, um, which I think is called Black Hawk. I'm not sure what it's called. And then also, Black if you Hawk. get this right here, um, we put some shorty headers on it. Yeah, shorty. Sure. Um, BBK. BBK headers. BBK okay. headers. Got Chewy to do the wrapping on that. Who's complaining because the rest Oh, the fiberglass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you put these tow meters in there? I did, I did. Okay, so you added the tow meters. So, mm -hmm. Shorty I am one that have the tow mirrors. I like the visibility that I have. I don't like them, so I think I'm thinking about changing them out. Um, they actually sell some Chevrolet tow uh, tow mirrors where it actually goes vertical, so I might do that. One. Integrated for a Dodge, yeah. Awesome. Sunsetauto.com is the website where we got these products from, guys. Select your vehicle and check out all these accessories they have. Alright guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos that I have also. Thanks for watching. Deuce.